Our research is focused on basically how does the brain encode information about the world um, using the visual system. So how does the brain see objects? How does it recognize faces? How does it learn um, to interact with objects in different ways? We do a lot of work on neural plasticity, so how does the brain change as a function of experience and as a function of development? And we do a lot of work also on um, face recognition. How do we recognize faces? How do we learn who's friend and who's foe? There are a couple of remarkable things that we've discovered um, recently. Um, one of those is that the brain changes throughout the lifetime uh, and that in fact the brain seems to be able to reorganize itself or rewire itself throughout our lifetime to be able to take advantage of what it's good at versus what it's not good at. Um, so older people, for example, when they're processing information about the world um, for vision, they might be using parts of the brain, the hippocampus and prefrontal cortex, that would be more likely in young people to be used for things like memory and attention. The other thing that we've learned, I think that's really interesting, is that when we're training people, even over sort of two days, on, on what seems to be a very simple task, like a face recognition task, what we're doing in that training is, is changing people's brains for a very long time. That one of the things that we're seeing in terms of the trajectory of our research in the future is building on that basic information to figure out how can we take what we've learned and develop, say, new training systems um, for young people and older people and people with different sorts of disabilities.